you guys. So it has been ooh, a while since I've been back here. But this um, lemon, it's Eureka pink lemon plant, I'm going to repot. And then I have, I wanted to show you this one here. It's a Meyer lemon, and I bought them both at the same time, but I transplanted this one before I did the other one. And I actually just did it um, maybe about three weeks ago. And I was I meant to do the other one as well, but I had I had gotten really busy and didn't get a chance to. But this one, I, I believe if I would have gotten the other one done, I would have had little lemons coming in already. Because look, I have one, two, three, four, four of them. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm going to do a couple of things. Oh, look what we have here. I don't know if you can see this. See that? If you see that on your plants, do not get rid of them. That's, um, I believe it's called lace fly and uh, they eat bugs. So if you see that, don't get rid of them. Okay guys, so I had to mute the sound because the wind was extremely loud and it was unbearable. Anyhow, so I just want to show you um, my repotting of my Eureka lemon tree. So I'm putting it in a grow bag and I'm kind of making a little well in the center um, to make sure that it's going to fit. I had no idea that it had two pots. But um, as you can see, as I open up the or remove the tree, look how root bound this was. So here I was gently teasing the roots, releasing some of them. And there were actually some of them were kind of brittle. So I left it and I tried to position it in there and I found that it actually still needed um, to be a little bit deeper. So what I did was I removed the tree and put it back in the pot so it wouldn't damage the little branches or anything. So as you can see, I'm using a grow bag, which I have found work really, really well. Um, and they're very lightweight as well, so they're great to work with. So I'm grabbing some soil. As you can see, there's a spider. I'm terrified of spiders. So I'm kind of glad I muted the sound because you would have heard me freaking out on that spider. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm just dumping some more soil in my grow bag so that um, I can try to reposition the tree, the little um, Eureka lemon it's actually a pink lemon tree so i'm making the well again and i'm going to try to put it in there and this time i found that it worked so now i'm just kind of pressing it gently down and also pressing the soil around it down so that it removes um, any of the air pockets that are in there so i'm just kind of going around the little root ball and pressing down, also patting the the loose soil down to compact it a little bit. And I'm going to use this tool because I ran out of soil in that bag. Um, I've got a couple more bags of soil and I'm just breaking open the next one so I can bring more soil. If you notice that little tree to the left of the lemon tree is a mango tree. And as you can see, I just noticed that there was a plastic bag in there. Um, which probably flew in. It was so windy. Probably flew in from the street or something. Um, people littering. That's what happens. It's sad because a lot of the times those plastic bags go in the ocean. And guess who suffers from that? Our poor sea turtles end up eating those plastic bags and kills a lot of them. And we actually live close by the ocean. Um, so people should not be littering anywhere, really. <laughs> So anyhow, I'm still trying to um, get my soil. And as you can see, I'm putting more soil around the lemon tree, pressing down gently as I place more soil, ensuring that I'm removing any air pockets that may have formed. 
and then I put a little bit more until the um, root, like where the little trunk met the soil, matches up so that um, it's at the same level as it was when it was in the little pot. And I'm just kind of folding down the grow bag a little bit. Do you guys use grow bags? Have you ever used grow bags? And if not, you really should try them out. They um, help a lot with air pruning and they're very lightweight. And here, as you can see, I've just repositioned the little cars that my grandson left so that when he comes back, he sees them in the garden. Um, I actually got that from him. He likes to put his little toys in my pots sometimes. But there you have it. I have repotted it. And um, it's good to go. So hopefully this fall I can get some little lemons. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell so that you are um, notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.